As we delve into making meaningful, lasting differences through our initiatives, the significance of effectively measuring impact becomes undeniably central. This lesson introduces you to the critical world of metrics in impact management, where every effort is evaluated to ensure it contributes to substantial, positive change. What are metrics in impact management? Imagine you're back in the garden, only this time. You're equipped with tools to measure the growth of your plants, the health of the soil, and the effectiveness of your watering schedule. In essence, you're using metrics to evaluate the success of your gardening efforts. Similarly, in impact management, metrics are the tools we use to assess the effectiveness of our projects and interventions. They allow us to quantify the social and environmental impacts of our actions, guiding decision-making and execution towards the most beneficial outcomes. In today's multifaceted world with its limited resources, employing effective metrics ensures that every effort is not just intentional but also impactful. By choosing and utilizing the right metrics, Organizations can align their projects with broader goals for societal and environmental well-being, guaranteeing that they contribute where it counts the most. The Role of Metrics in Sustainable Change Sustainable change focuses on fostering improvements that are lasting, enhancing resilience and capacity without harming the environment or society. Metrics prioritize this approach, emphasizing long-term benefits and the planet's health. Through meticulous measurement, organizations can ensure their projects foster sustainable, positive change in the wider world. Traditional versus AI-enhanced approach in defining metrics. Traditionally, defining effective metrics involved in-depth research, stakeholder consultations, and often a trial and error approach. This method could be exhaustive, potentially slowing down projects. The integration of AI technologies like ChatGPT is transforming this process. AI can analyze vast data, pinpoint relevant success indicators, and predict the impacts of interventions, streamlining metric development. This ensures comprehensive, precise alignment with project goals, enhancing efficiency and accuracy in measuring success. The Impact of Metrics on Project Success Understanding and implementing effective metrics is fundamental in impact management. As we explore how to select and apply these metrics, we highlight the shift towards leveraging AI capabilities. This evolution marks a substantial move towards achieving more impactful, sustainable change, empowering organizations with the tools to accurately assess and steer their initiatives towards success. Conclusion Metrics in impact management are indispensable for evaluating and guiding projects towards their intended social and environmental impacts. The advent of AI tools offers a revolutionary approach to developing these metrics, promising a future where impact management is not only more efficient, but also more aligned with achieving lasting positive change. This lesson underscores the importance of embracing innovative methodologies, including AI, to enhance our practices in monitoring, evaluation, and achieving impactful initiatives. As we delve deeper into understanding metrics and impact management, keep in mind PAYO's challenges and goals. This practical exploration will not only highlight the theoretical underpinnings of selecting and utilizing effective metrics, but also demonstrate how AI tools can revolutionize our approach to monitoring, evaluation, and ultimately achieving impactful change. With a comprehensive understanding of metrics and impact management, Pacific AI Outreach, PAYO, embarks on a critical phase of its journey, designing effective metrics that accurately reflect the success and impact of its initiatives. This lesson guides you through the process of creating metrics that not only measure outcomes but also inform strategic decisions and enhance program effectiveness. Understanding the Importance of Effective Metrics Effective metrics are the linchpins of impactful projects. 
They provide quantifiable evidence of progress, offering insights into how well an initiative is meeting its objectives. For Payo, which aims to enhance AI literacy among small businesses in the Pacific region, designing metrics involves identifying clear, measurable indicators that can track the initiative's direct effects on businesses' technological capabilities and overall growth. Steps in Designing Effective Metrics To develop these critical metrics, Payo follows a structured approach. 1. Identify Key Outcomes Payo starts by pinpointing the specific changes or benefits its AI literacy initiative aims to achieve. These outcomes form the basis of what the metrics will measure, such as increased usage of AI tools among small businesses or improvements in business efficiency. 2. Define measurable indicators. For each identified outcome, PIO defines indicators that can quantitatively measure success. These indicators must be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, to ensure they provide meaningful data. 3. Establish baselines. Before implementing the initiative, PIO gathers baseline data to understand the current state of AI literacy among its target businesses. This baseline allows for a clear comparison to measure the initiative's impact over time. 4. Determine data collection methods. PIO decides on the methods for collecting data on each metric, considering both the reliability of the data and the feasibility of collection methods. Traditional approach to metric design. Traditionally, the process of designing metrics involved extensive stakeholder consultations to ensure that the chosen indicators resonated with all parties involved and accurately reflected the initiative's goals. This approach, while thorough, could extend over several weeks, requiring iterative discussions and adjustments to finalize the metrics. Enhancing the process with ChatGPT Seeking a more streamlined approach, Payo leverages ChatGPT to aid in designing its metrics. By inputting the initiative's goals and key outcomes into ChatGPT, Payo asks for assistance in identifying smart indicators and suggests methods for data collection. ChatGPT responds with a range of innovative metric suggestions, each linked to specific outcomes and accompanied by practical advice on data collection techniques. This AI-driven process not only expedites the development of metrics, but also ensures that they are both comprehensive and finely tuned to the initiative's objectives. The transition to using ChatGPT for metric design marks a significant advancement in PIO's strategic planning. The AI-generated metrics are not only aligned with PIO's goals, but also crafted with a level of specificity and practicality that enhances the initiative's ability to measure success accurately. Conclusion Designing effective metrics is crucial for assessing the impact of initiatives and guiding strategic decisions. Payo's experience with an AI-enhanced approach highlights the potential of AI tools to refine the metric design process, ensuring that metrics are not only tailored to the initiative's objectives, but also grounded in practical, measurable indicators. As organizations strive to maximize their impact, embracing AI in the development of metrics presents a forward-looking approach to achieving measurable and sustainable success. When Pacific AI Outreach initially embarked on designing metrics for its AI literacy initiative, the approach was grounded in traditional methods. Holly and her team engaged in extensive brainstorming sessions with stakeholders to identify key outcomes and corresponding metrics. The process highlighted three primary goals. Goal 1. Increase in AI tool. Adoption. The team aimed to measure the adoption rate of AI tools among small businesses. However, the initial metric was broad tracking only the percentage increase in AI tool adoption without specifying types of tools or the context of use. Goal 2. Improvement in business efficiencies. 
Another goal was to gauge improvements in operational efficiencies among businesses utilizing AI. The initially proposed metric was to survey perceived efficiency improvements, a subjective measure that lacked quantifiable benchmarks. Goal 3. Enhancement in Staff AI Literacy the third goal focused on enhancing the AI literacy levels of staff within small businesses. The team considered tracking workshop attendance as a proxy for literacy improvement, which did not necessarily reflect actual learning or application of knowledge. These metrics, while aligned with the initiative's objectives, were criticized for their lack of specificity, measurability, and direct linkage to the desired outcomes. Holly found this traditional approach, taking weeks of discussions to conclude, somewhat ineffective, assigning it a 2.5 star rating due to its broad and somewhat ambiguous nature. Incorporating AI for refined metric design. Seeking a more streamlined and precise approach, Holly turned to AI, specifically leveraging ChatGPT to refine Payo's metrics. By inputting the initiative's goals and outcomes into ChatGPT, she requested recommendations for more specific and measurable indicators. AI Enhanced Metrics Indicator 1. AI Tool Adoption ChatGPT suggested tracking not just the percentage increase in AI tool adoption, but also distinguishing between types of tools, for example, productivity, analytics, and measuring the frequency of use. This approach offered a clearer picture of how businesses integrated AI into their operations. Indicator 2. Business Efficiencies To measure improvements in business efficiencies, ChatGPT recommended a composite metric that included reduction in operational costs, increase in customer satisfaction scores, and time saved on key tasks due to AI implementation. These quantifiable indicators provided a more objective measure of efficiency improvements. Indicator 3. Staff AI Literacy For assessing AI literacy improvements, ChatGPT proposed pre- and post-assessment tests following the workshops, alongside tracking the implementation of AI solutions by the staff in their daily tasks. This dual approach would more accurately reflect both learning and practical application of AI knowledge. The transition to AI-enhanced metric design significantly improved the specificity and applicability of Payo's metrics. Holly was particularly impressed with how ChatGPT suggestions transformed vague goals into tangible, measurable outcomes. This AI-assisted method not only shortened the development time to a few days, but also resulted in a set of metrics that Holly confidently rated at 4.5 stars for their direct alignment with strategic objectives and practical measurability. Holly, after navigating through the traditional method and then enhancing our approach with AI for designing metrics, what insights have you gathered? How do you see these advancements influencing our approach to impact measurement and overall project success going forward? Sean, this journey has truly opened my eyes. Our initial traditional methods provided essential insights, but lacked the precision and flexibility necessary for real-time impact assessment and strategic response. While these methods laid a broad foundation, they fell short in providing the detailed, adaptable approach we needed, Switching to an AI-enhanced method, especially using ChatGPT, has completely transformed our process for designing metrics. It has enabled us to delve into the details of each goal and develop a set of metrics that are not only measurable and closely aligned with our outcomes, but also highly adaptable. This precision and flexibility allow us to monitor our progress with greater accuracy and make swift, informed decisions that enhance the effectiveness and impact of our projects this transformation highlights the critical role that AI tools can play in refining our strategies for measuring impact. These tools provide a dynamic and comprehensive view that helps us ensure our initiatives are truly achieving their intended effects. 
I am enthusiastic about the potential of these technologies to further enhance our monitoring and evaluation practices. Looking ahead, I anticipate that we will continue to integrate AI tools into our metric design and overall impact assessment processes. This ongoing integration will not only make our efforts more efficient, but also improve the quality and relevance of our evaluations, helping us achieve and effectively communicate our impact. Pacific AI Outreach, PAIO, has reached a pivotal moment in its strategic journey, focusing on measuring what matters. This phase is essential for ensuring the metrics meticulously reflect and drive the organization towards its mission of enhancing AI literacy among small businesses in the Pacific. Conceptual Understanding Measuring what matters centers on identifying and prioritizing metrics that provide the deepest insights into an initiative's effectiveness and impact. It's about distinguishing the signal from the noise, ensuring that every data point collected directly informs strategic decisions and actions. Practical Application PAYO embarks on this crucial process with a clear goal to sift through its metrics and identify those that truly reflect progress towards its overarching objectives. This involves a deep dive into which aspects of their initiative are most critical to their mission success and most valued by their stakeholders. Step-by-step -step process. Step one, review and prioritization. PAYO systematically reviews each metric against its strategic goals to ensure alignment and relevance. Step 2. Stakeholder engagement. Engaging stakeholders in this prioritization ensures the selected metrics resonate with and reflect the values and expectations of those involved and affected by PAYO's work. Step 3. Technological analysis. Utilizing AI and data analytics. PIO analyzes patterns and correlations within its data to identify which metrics are true indicators of impact and success. Traditional versus AI-enhanced approach. Traditionally, PIO relied on manual reviews and consensus building sessions to prioritize metrics, a process that, while comprehensive, could be slow and somewhat subjective. The introduction of AI-enhanced methods has transformed this process, allowing for real-time data analysis and providing a more objective basis for determining which metrics truly matter. AI-Driven Solutions By leveraging AI tools like ChatGPT, PAYO now benefits from advanced data analysis that identifies the most impactful metrics. This technology offers predictive insights, highlighting potential future trends and allowing PAYO to adjust its strategies proactively. Reflecting on this strategic shift, PAYO recognizes the transformative power of focusing on measuring what matters, enhanced by AI technology. This approach has not only streamlined the process of metric prioritization, but also ensured that the metrics closely align with both immediate and long-term strategic objectives, enhancing the organization's ability to achieve its mission. Conclusion In prioritizing metrics that truly reflect the organization's impact, PAYO sets a new standard for strategic planning in impact management. This refined focus, supported by advanced AI analytics, positions PAYO to more effectively track progress, make informed decisions, and communicate its impact. As PAYO moves forward, the lessons learned from this process will shape its approach to not only measuring, but also maximizing the success of its initiatives, demonstrating a commitment to not just achieving, but excelling in its mission to enhance AI literacy among small businesses in the Pacific. Holly, the Monitoring and Evaluation Coordinator at Pacific AI Outreach, PAYO, face the daunting task of identifying the metrics that genuinely reflect the impact of their AI literacy initiatives. Initially, she utilized traditional methods. 1. Broad Stakeholder Surveys Holly sent out extensive surveys to stakeholders to gather opinions on which metrics they believed were most important. 
This approach, while inclusive, resulted in a wide array of suggestions, many of which were difficult to quantify or directly link to PIO's strategic goals. 2. Manual Data Analysis Holly and her team then manually reviewed past projects to identify common metrics used and their effectiveness. This labor-intensive process was slow and often did not highlight the metric's strategic importance. 3. Group Consensus Meetings Finally, Holly organized several meetings with team members and stakeholders to reach a consensus on which metrics to prioritize. These sessions, though valuable for team engagement, were time-consuming and sometimes led to prioritizing metrics based on popularity rather than strategic relevance. Incorporating AI for Enhanced Decision-Making Seeking a more streamlined and strategic approach, Holly turned to AI, specifically leveraging ChatGPT, to refine the process of measuring what matters. She inputted PIO's strategic goals and the broad list of potential metrics into ChatGPT, asking for analysis and prioritization based on relevance, impact potential, and data feasibility. AI Enhanced Solutions ChatGPT offered a nuanced analysis, identifying key metrics that directly aligned with PIO's strategic objectives and had a proven track record of indicating success in similar initiatives. It suggested focusing on metrics like 1. Engagement rate in AI training programs, moving beyond mere attendance, measuring active participation and completion rates. 2. Application of AI tools, post-training, Tracking the implementation of AI solutions in businesses, rather than just workshop attendance, to measure real-world application and impact. 3. Business growth indicators post-AI integration, suggesting a focus on measurable business outcomes post-training, such as revenue growth, cost reduction, or customer satisfaction improvements. The shift to an AI-driven process markedly improved the precision and relevance of the metrics PIO decided to focus on. This approach not only streamlined the selection process, but also ensured that the metrics chosen were strategically aligned and actionable. Holly, reflecting on the journey from traditional methods to leveraging AI for measuring what matters, what insights have you gained? How do you see this impacting our future projects? Sean, this transition has been eye-opening. The traditional methods brought valuable insights, but the AI-enhanced process allowed us to dig deeper, identifying the metrics that truly reflect our impact and strategic goals. It's made our measurement process not just more efficient, but also more aligned with what we aim to achieve. Going forward, this approach will undoubtedly shape how we plan, measure, and report our initiatives, making our impact not just measurable, but truly meaningful. After refining its approach to designing effective metrics, Pacific AI Outreach, PIO, is set to ensure these metrics are intricately aligned with its broader organizational goals. This critical phase aims to bridge PIO's strategic intentions with tangible measures of success, focusing on the mission to foster AI literacy among small businesses in the Pacific region. Conceptual Understanding Alignment between metrics and organizational goals is about creating a synergistic relationship where metrics act as milestones on the path to achieving the overarching mission. It ensures that every effort measured contributes directly to the organization's primary objectives, reinforcing the strategic direction and amplifying impact. Practical Application PIO undertakes a structured approach to ensure that its newly designed metrics reflect and support its strategic goals. This involves a deep dive into understanding how each metric serves as a building block towards realizing the mission, emphasizing the importance of coherence between day-to-day -day activities and long-term aspirations. Step-by-step -step process. Step 1. Strategic Review. 
Arpaio revisits its mission and strategic goals to anchor the metrics in the organization's core objectives. Step 2. Metrics Mapping. Each metric is mapped against specific goals to ascertain its relevance and contribution towards achieving those goals. Step 3. Gap Analysis Identifying any gaps where essential aspects of the goals are not adequately measured by the current metrics. Step 4. Adjustment and Refinement Modifying existing metrics or developing new ones to fill identified gaps, ensuring comprehensive coverage of all strategic goals. Traditional Approach versus AI-Enhanced Method Traditionally, aligning metrics with goals was a manual, often iterative process involving extensive discussions and alignment sessions across departments. While thorough, this method could be slow and sometimes miscapturing dynamic insights. Leveraging AI, particularly tools like ChatGPT, Payo introduces a level of precision and agility into this alignment process. AI's capability to analyze vast amounts of data and identify patterns allows Payo to ensure that its metrics are not only aligned with organizational goals, but are also adaptable to evolving strategic priorities. AI-Driven Solutions ChatGPT assists in identifying potential misalignments and suggests metrics that might better capture the essence of Payo's strategic goals. For instance, if a goal focuses on deepening AI understanding beyond mere literacy, ChatGPT might recommend metrics that measure the application of AI knowledge in solving business problems, thus ensuring metrics truly reflect organizational aspirations. This phase of aligning metrics with organizational goals, enhanced by AI, signifies a pivotal shift in PIO's strategic execution. The precision and adaptability brought about by AI tools have not only streamlined the alignment process, but also ensured that PAYO's metrics robustly support its mission, making its path towards impact more clear and measurable. Conclusion The alignment of metrics with organizational goals is fundamental to strategic success, ensuring that every measured effort directly advances the organization's mission. Payo's journey from traditional methodologies to an AI-enhanced alignment process highlights the transformative impact of technology in strategic planning. As organizations navigate their paths towards fulfilling their missions, the integration of AI in aligning metrics with goals offers a promising avenue towards achieving more strategic coherence and impactful outcomes. In her role at Pacific AI Outreach, Payo, Holly initially approached the alignment of metrics with organizational goals through traditional methods. The process involved 1. Stakeholder Workshops Holly organized workshops aiming to match the newly designed metrics with PIO's strategic goals. However, these sessions often circled around broad discussions, struggling to pinpoint direct correlations between specific metrics and long-term goals. 2. Manual Review Sessions The team manually reviewed each metric against organizational goals, which was time-intensive and sometimes lacked the agility to adjust to new insights rapidly. 3. Feedback Loops Soliciting feedback from various departments to ensure the metrics resonated with all aspects of the organization's mission. This process, while inclusive, added layers of complexity and time to achieving alignment. This traditional approach, while thorough, proved to be cumbersome and slow, making it challenging to dynamically adjust metrics in line with evolving organizational strategies. Holly rated the effectiveness of this process at 2.5 stars, recognizing the need for a more streamlined and responsive method. Incorporating AI for Enhanced Alignment Seeking efficiency and adaptability, Holly turned to AI tools, particularly ChatGPT, to refine the alignment process. The AI-driven approach involved 1. Direct mapping with AI assistance 
Holly input the organization's goals and the list of designed metrics into ChatGPT, asking for assistance in identifying direct alignments and gaps. 2. AI Suggested Adjustments ChatGPT analyzed the information and suggested adjustments to metrics that better captured the essence of PIEO's strategic goals, ensuring a tighter linkage. 3. Dynamic Feedback Integration Using AI, Holly was able to quickly incorporate feedback from across the organization, dynamically adjusting metrics to ensure they remained aligned with PIO's evolving strategic focus. The AI-enhanced process markedly improved the alignment of metrics with organizational goals, making the process not only faster but also more accurate and adaptable. Holly found this method to be significantly more effective, rating it at 4.5 stars for its precision and efficiency. The shift from traditional methods to an AI-enhanced approach for aligning metrics with organizational goals represented a significant improvement in PIO's strategic planning processes. This transition enabled PIO to ensure that its metrics were always closely aligned with its mission, facilitating a more agile and impact-focused approach to measurement. Holly, after experiencing both the traditional method and the AI-enhanced approach for aligning our metrics with organizational goals, what key insights have you gained? How do you envision these advancements shaping our future strategies and the overall success of our initiatives? Sean, transitioning from our traditional alignment methods to incorporating AI has been a pivotal moment for us. Initially, we faced challenges with the time-consuming nature of manual processes, which, while comprehensive, often lacked the agility and precision we needed for effective strategic alignment. The integration of ChatGPT into our process was a game-changer. It not only accelerated our ability to align metrics with our goals, but also enhanced the precision of this alignment, ensuring our metrics are dynamically linked to our evolving strategic objectives. This experience has been eye-opening, underscoring the critical role of adaptability and precision in our strategic planning efforts. Leveraging AI has not only streamlined our processes, but also deepened our understanding of how to effectively measure and drive progress towards our goals. The insights gained from this journey highlight the immense potential of AI tools to refine our approach to strategic alignment, making it more responsive to our needs and ambitions. Looking ahead, I see these advancements significantly influencing our approach to strategic planning and impact measurement. By continuing to integrate AI tools into our processes, we can enhance our agility, precision, and effectiveness in achieving our mission. This forward-thinking approach will undoubtedly empower us to navigate the complexities of our initiatives more effectively, ensuring that we're not just making progress, but making the right progress towards our overarching goals. In the journey of Pacific AI Outreach, PIO, to illuminate the path of AI literacy among small businesses in the Pacific, the distinction between qualitative and quantitative metrics emerges as a critical crossroad. This lesson dives into the nuanced differences and synergies between these two types of metrics, guiding you on when and how to use each effectively in impact management. Understanding the distinction. At its core, the difference between qualitative and quantitative metrics lies in what they measure and how they measure it. Quantitative metrics are numerical and provide measurable, countable data. In contrast, Qualitative metrics focus on descriptive, non-numerical insights that capture the depth and quality of impact. The value of both metrics in impact management. Quantitative metrics might measure the number of businesses adopting AI tools post-training, a straightforward, measurable outcome. On the other hand, qualitative metrics might explore business owners' perceptions of AI's impact on their operations, offering rich, contextual insights that numbers alone cannot convey. Strategic Application in PIO's Mission Step 1. Identifying Relevant Metrics 
Arpaio begins by mapping out both types of metrics that align with their goals. For instance, quantitative metrics might include the percentage increase in revenue or operational efficiency, while qualitative metrics might assess changes in business innovation culture or customer satisfaction. Step 2. Collecting data. Data collection methods vary significantly between the two, with surveys and analytics for quantitative data and interviews or focus groups for qualitative insights. PAYO employs a mix, ensuring a comprehensive understanding of impact. Step 3. Analysis and Interpretation PAYO uses statistical tools to analyze quantitative data, while qualitative information is often synthesized into themes or patterns that tell a story about the initiative's deeper impact. Balancing Qualitative and Quantitative Insights The challenge and art lie in balancing these metrics to provide a holistic view of an initiative's impact. PAYO strives for a synergy where quantitative data offers scalability and benchmarking capabilities, while qualitative insights bring stories and stakeholder voices into the forefront, enriching the understanding of numbers. Leveraging Technology for Comprehensive Analysis Technological advancements, particularly in data analytics and AI, allow PAIO to more effectively gather, analyze, and interpret both types of data. AI tools can process vast amounts of qualitative data, identifying sentiments and trends that might elude manual analysis while also handling complex quantitative analyses. This balanced approach marks a significant evolution in PAIO's strategy. By valuing both types of metrics equally, PAIO ensures that its impact measurement captures not only the breadth of its initiatives, but also the depth of change they foster within the small business community. Conclusion Understanding and applying both qualitative and quantitative metrics is crucial for crafting a nuanced, comprehensive picture of impact. For PAIO, this dual approach not only enhances the organization's ability to measure and understand the effects of its AI literacy initiatives, but also informs more strategic, impactful decision-making. As PAIO moves forward, this lesson underscores the importance of embracing both quantitative clarity and qualitative depth to fully grasp and communicate the transformative power of their work. Holly faces a new challenge at Pacific AI Outreach, PAYO, to teach her team the differences and applications of qualitative and quantitative metrics in a way that sticks. She decides to turn this into a practical exercise, creating a game that not only educates but also engages. The Traditional Approach Holly starts with traditional methods to introduce the concepts. 1. Workshop Sessions She organizes workshops where team members are given theoretical lessons on the differences between qualitative and quantitative metrics. 2. Paper-Based Exercises Participants are asked to categorize various examples of data into qualitative or quantitative metrics, using printed materials and case studies from past projects. 3. Group Discussions Teams discuss the value and challenges of each metric type, sharing insights from personal experiences without the aid of technology, leading to rich but sometimes divergent understandings. The Challenge with Traditional Methods While the traditional approach fosters understanding, Holly notices it lacks immediate applicability and real-world context. Participants grasp the basic concepts but struggle to see how they could dynamically apply these metrics in their projects. Incorporating AI for real-world application Seeking to bridge this gap, Holly innovates by integrating AI into the exercise. 1. AI-Powered Data Analysis Holly introduces an AI tool that simulates real PAYO project data, challenging teams to use the tool to identify and analyze both qualitative and quantitative metrics. 2. Real-time feedback. 
As teams input their findings, the AI provides immediate feedback on their accuracy and offers tips for improvement, making the learning process interactive and adaptive. 3. Comparative Analysis with AI Finally, Holly sets up a scenario where the AI tool demonstrates how integrating both metric types can lead to richer insights and more informed decisions, showcasing AI's capacity to handle and synthesize diverse data types. Following the AI-enhanced game, Holly asks the teams to reflect on their experiences and the insights gained. Participants realize the power of combining qualitative and quantitative metrics for a fuller picture of impact. The immediate feedback and real-world applicability provided by AI significantly enhance understanding and confidence in using these metrics effectively. Holly, seeing the team's engagement and the depth of understanding they reached, how do you view the role of AI in our future training and project analysis? Sean, this exercise was a revelation. The traditional methods laid a good foundation, but the AI integration brought the metrics to life. It showed us not just the how, but the why behind each metric type. AI's role in providing real-time contextual learning has immense potential to elevate our projects and training. It's clear that as we move forward, integrating AI into our learning and analysis will not only make our team more adept at choosing and using metrics, but also significantly amplify our impact. Holly, the diligent monitoring and evaluation coordinator at Payo, is confronted with the intricate challenge of integrating risk management practices into the organization's metric system. Recognizing the critical importance of anticipating and mitigating risks to ensure accurate and reliable impact measurement, Holly embarks on a mission to educate her team on the nuances of risk management in metrics. Traditional method broad risk assessment workshops. Initially, Holly organizes workshops aimed at identifying potential risks in data collection and metric analysis. These sessions involve brainstorming potential scenarios that could lead to data, inaccuracies, or misinterpretations. Traditional method, manual risk tracking. Following the workshops, Holly and her team attempt to manually track identified risks using spreadsheets, documenting potential impacts and mitigation strategies. This process proves to be time-consuming and somewhat inefficient in dynamically adjusting to new risks. Traditional Method – Group Mitigation Strategy Sessions Holly further convenes group sessions to develop consensus-based mitigation strategies for the identified risks. While these meetings foster team collaboration, they often result in generic strategies that lack specificity and fail to address unique risk factors effectively. Incorporating AI for Enhanced Decision-Making Seeking a more effective approach, Holly turns to AI, specifically leveraging ChatGPT, to refine the process. By inputting the organization's metrics and previously identified risks into ChatGPT, she asks for a comprehensive analysis and prioritization based on potential impact and likelihood. AI Enhanced Solutions – Dynamic Risk Analysis ChatGPT revolutionizes PIO's risk management approach by offering dynamic risk analysis capabilities. It identifies and prioritizes risks not previously considered, suggests specific, actionable mitigation strategies, and even simulates the potential impact of different strategies, enabling the team to make informed decisions quickly. AI-enhanced solutions, automated risk, tracking and alerts. Furthermore, ChatGPT facilitates the development of an automated risk tracking system capable of alerting the team to new risks in real time and suggesting immediate mitigation actions. This system significantly improves PIO's ability to manage risks proactively. The integration of AI into PIO's risk management processes marks a significant improvement over traditional methods. Holly observes a marked increase in the team's ability to identify, assess, 
and respond to risks efficiently and effectively. Holly, after transitioning from traditional risk management methods to an AI-enhanced approach, what are your key takeaways? How do you see this evolution influencing our metric development and overall project management? The shift to an AI-enhanced risk management approach has been a game-changer for us at Pacific AI Outreach. It has not only made our risk assessment more comprehensive and dynamic, but also significantly streamlined our mitigation strategies. This evolution from manual, often reactive risk management to a proactive, AI-driven approach has empowered us to safeguard our metrics' integrity more effectively. As we move forward, I am confident that this integration of AI will fundamentally enhance our project management, making our impact measurement both more robust and resilient. Pacific AI Outreach, PAYO, has embarked on a mission to amplify AI literacy across the small business landscape in the Pacific region. As it progresses, the integration of robust risk management practices into the development and implementation of metrics has emerged as a pivotal strategy. This lesson delves into the nuances of intertwining risk management with metrics, ensuring PAYO's impact measurement is not only insightful, but also resilient. Deciphering risk management within metrics. Risk management in the context of metrics involves a proactive approach to identifying, evaluating, and mitigating any factors that could jeopardize the integrity, accuracy, and reliability of impact measurement. This foresight is crucial in preempting potential distortions in data that could mislead decision-making or skew the perceived effectiveness of initiatives. The Critical Role of Risk Management for PAYO For PAYO, whose aim is to significantly uplift AI comprehension among small enterprises, the stakes are high. Metrics serve as the compass guiding this mission and any misstep in their accuracy or application due to unforeseen risks could derail the initiative's objectives. Thus, risk management becomes an indispensable ally in navigating the uncertain waters of impactful change. A Strategic Blueprint for Risk Management in Metrics 1. Comprehensive Risk Identification this foundational step involves a meticulous scan of the horizon for potential threats to metric integrity, including technological hiccups, data privacy breaches, and even socio-political changes affecting stakeholder engagement. 2. In-depth risk assessment. Following identification, each risk is critically analyzed for its likelihood and potential impact, enabling PAYO to prioritize mitigation efforts effectively based on a strategic assessment. 3. Tailored Mitigation Strategy Development Addressing the prioritized risks, PIO crafts bespoke strategies aimed at neutralizing threats or minimizing their impact. This could span from enhancing cybersecurity measures to diversify data collection methodologies, ensuring the robustness of metrics against unforeseen adversities. Harnessing Technological Advances for Risk Mitigation In today's digital age, technology stands as a formidable force in risk management. Advanced AI and data analytics tools offer PAYO unprecedented capabilities in foreseeing potential risks and devising strategies. These tools not only predict but also provide simulations, offering a glimpse into the potential future impact of identified risks and the efficacy of planned mitigation strategies. Conclusion Incorporating risk management practices into the fabric of metric development equips PAYO with a dual lens of insight and foresight. It ensures that the organization's pursuit of enhancing AI literacy among small businesses is not only measured accurately, but is also resilient to the ebbs and flows of external and internal risk factors. As PAYO advances, this integrated approach to risk management and metrics paves the way for a future where impact measurement is not just reactive, but proactively aligned with the overarching mission of sustainable, meaningful change.
Reflecting on our journey through crafting metrics for measurable success, I'm truly amazed at how we've evolved in our approach to measuring the impact of our initiatives. This section has been pivotal in reshaping our understanding and application of metrics, ensuring they're not just numbers we report, but meaningful indicators that guide our strategic direction and decisions. We started by understanding the essence of metrics in impact management, which was an eye-opener. It helped me realize that effectively measuring impact goes beyond traditional methods. It's about embracing innovative technologies like AI to enhance our processes. The shift from manual, time-consuming metric development to leveraging ChatGPT for designing effective metrics has been revolutionary. ChatGPT not only expedited the process, but also introduced a level of specificity and adaptability we hadn't realized was missing. Aligning metrics with our organizational goals was another significant milestone. The traditional methods, while comprehensive, often felt cumbersome and slow. Integrating AI, specifically ChatGPT, transformed this process. It made the alignment not only faster, but also more accurate and adaptable to our evolving strategic priorities. This change has made it clearer how each metric directly contributes to our mission, making our path towards impact more measurable and understandable. Focusing on measuring what matters was perhaps the most enlightening phase. It underscored the importance of not just collecting data, but prioritizing metrics that genuinely reflect our impact and strategic goals. ChatGPT's nuanced analysis helped us identify key metrics that align with our objectives, streamlining the selection process, and ensuring that our metrics are actionable and strategic. The exploration of qualitative versus quantitative metrics broadened our horizon, emphasizing the value of integrating both to capture the full spectrum of our impact. And when it came to risk management and metrics, leveraging AI tools like ChatGPT enabled us to foresee potential risks and devise effective mitigation strategies, making our impact measurement more robust and resilient. This journey has equipped us with the tools and insights to ensure our metrics are not just well-defined, but truly reflective of our mission's breadth and depth. It set a new standard for how we measure success, making our impact not just measurable, but truly meaningful. As I look forward to applying these learnings, I'm excited about the potential of these technologies to enrich our monitoring and evaluation practices further pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve in making a meaningful difference.